It's Chi again. I'm back to share healing messages with you from my heart to yours. Let's take some deep breaths together, tuning into our hearts, connecting to infinite source, our own divine essence within. Deep breathing feels so good. I do it all the time as much as I can. It helps me stay present. It's been a huge part of my healing journey. And I try not to make this channel about giving advice and encouraging other people to do as I do, um, especially regarding the particulars I'm just trying to share from my heart and if anything I do or say or experience inspires you to expand and reach for something higher, something more, something new, then I would be so grateful for having been part of your journey. As you can see today I'm not wearing my armband giving my skin a break beautiful sunshine out so I just wanted my skin to breathe and um, if you don't know my story I have breast cancer that I'm healing from naturally because I'm intuitively guided to do so uh, my own personal choice and um, I was diagnosed March 2018 and went through a huge purging, emotional, energetic, um, spiritual purge where that just released within me heavy, heavy density, uh, you know, physical weight and emotional weight and just everything that was holding me back from being here now with you as I am full of joy, full of love, full of light. And yes, I'm gonna say this, I am well. I am happy and well. Uh, I feel good to be in my body. And if there's pain and discomfort in the moment, then I love myself. You know, if my arm is swollen, I massage and love it and I talk to it. You know, I, 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 I just thank it. There's a therapy called Ho'oponopono. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's an Hawaiian ancient um, spiritual healing tradition. But um, if you practice it on your body, it really helps to make peace with the body, feel good to be in the body and um you know so your mind your poor ego mind stuck in the fishbowl you know isn't um projecting a more density uh you know into your own body um especially when you get an illness um and you know your your human ego self doesn't know what's going on you tend to recoil from your body uh you might even feel like your body's betraying you uh, by um you know pooping out but it's a limited ego perspective and it's only true from that perspective so you have a choice you can breathe deeply and accept your circumstances as they are and move into the present moment and get centered within yourself. And align your head with your heart. And 
be still. And so you realize that there's another perspective, a higher perspective. Maybe your body is not betraying you by manifesting cancer. Not that even your body is manifesting it. As we've mentioned before, manifestation, manifestation occurs within the mind. Another topic. Um, but to not hold your body accountable or blame your body, right? Your body is the messenger and, and, and it has a really important message. And it, if it could deliver this message in a way that you could fully integrate and comprehend fully and believe and then take the appropriate actions to follow uh, the guidance of that message. If, it, if that message could be delivered uh, you know, with a stroke of a feather instead of cancer, then it would have, right? So, you know, the fact that I've been, I've been hit on the head um, is kind of a good thing for me because my um, ego needs it. My ego is very strong-willed and easily distracted, right? And all my life, because of um, childhood um, issues, you know, I've had an addiction to food. Um, there are worse addictions, yes, you know, you can have an addiction to food and, and it'll get you, it'll get you, you know, um, a long ways. Um, you'll just keep yo-yoing in your weight or, or, or um, maybe having just, just mild um, physical setbacks. But I had an addiction of food that actually, you know, um, didn't um, slow me down at all because I was a very active, energetic person, right? So I was kind of offsetting the food with exercise and just activity. Um, but, you know, as we age into our, our late 40s and our, you know, um, our 40s, <laughs> Um, as we age, um, we slow down, the metabolism slows down, and those addictions start to catch up with you. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be linear because cancer is a very, very um, complicated issue. It's, it's a holistic issue with a lot of different moving variables. Um, but for me, um, the food addiction was a big physical component, but all physical addictions are caused by an underlying feeling of lack and unworthiness, a feeling that there's a big void in you because you do not feel lovable, and that void is very, very uncomfortable to look at subconsciously, so we, we start to run away from it and bury it with um, comforting activities. And for me, you know, it was eating. Um, you know, all the good stuff, right? Apple pie with whipped cream. So comforting. Um, so the emotional issues, the underlying subconscious emotional issues that lead to the addiction, that needs to be resolved before the addiction can be resolved. So there's just layers and layers of healing that has to happen. Now I'm gonna add another layer to, to that. So behind those emotions are beliefs, you know, they're actual mental beliefs that we, over time, I guess, entrain into our minds that they're true, right? So behind the emotional, you know, void, feeling of lack and unworthiness, this belief that um, I wasn't worthy or I, or I didn't really belong here and that um, my light or me, my beingness was not welcomed here on earth. 
um, because of what happened in in early childhood. So these beliefs um, are a, kind of like a lower level of truth based on traumatic experiences, right? And because remember, you know, there really is no right or wrong. I mean, there's just different levels of truths based on our level of consciousness at the time that we experience our, our um, traumas, right? So I had to resolve that, right? And then, and I'm gonna kind of even add another layer. So healing is very, very complex. Another layer to that um, is is even higher, you know. Another layer to that was somehow I was not um, divine, that I was separate, that I was really just this human personality. And this is really, really um, a very, very, uh, it's a very high level of identity. Okay, and based on that, everything filters down. Okay, so if you think you're just human and you're separated, then basically all you're going to get is kind of like a fishbowl with just just a small set of parameters to work with and a limited amount of um, divine energies, right? Because you're you're just thinking, oh, well, I'm just human, and I absolutely believe it, right? And then boom, because you are that powerful, you created. A box an imaginary illusional box but you're trapped in it until you can get yourself out through changing your beliefs okay so many many layers of, of healing that has to happen and the sh and there is no shortcut right there is no shortcut it's, you know like I said I woke up in 2012 seven years later I, I am completely transformed gone through just a of purging ups and downs and just just uh, expansive experiences you know um, to be here now okay um, and every day I keep moving along that upward spiral of ascension to greater and greater higher and higher um, states of self-awareness and inner peace and bliss and joy so much so that I just feel that I have enough, more than enough, to share with others. That finally my cup is full. That void is gone. That addict is gone. And now, 11 days into my fast, and again, my fast is kind of a pseudo fast, so it's very, very easy for me. Um, and I do this because I'm, in, I'm guided to do it, okay? I'm, I'm not cop copying anyone's protocol. I do research a lot and I read other people's testimonials, testimonials and I take what's relevant to me and I just customize it to me. So, so I just kind of like modified fasting into my own protocol intuitively, okay? Um, so, you know, coming from inner, inner guidance, inner intuition, so I know it's going to work out well for me, okay? If you follow your inner guidance, your in, inner intuition, it'll work out for you, okay? Um, so, 